in Tel Aviv. He has new reaction following an Israeli airstrike at a refugee camp. Robert. Good morning to you, Adrian. And this is something that the IDF has definitely been focusing on today as the entire region has really been asking a lot of questions of what exactly happened. The IDF is taking responsibility for a series of operations that took place in the Jabalaya area of the northern portion of the Gaza Strip, which is home to the largest refugee camp in Gaza, also is home to a stronghold for Hamas, which apparently had a large munition stockpile, training centers for Hamas fighters, as well as the intricate tunnel systems that many people have been talking about. The IDF confirming that they had both boots on the ground as well as airstrikes in that area to destroy that compound. But you see the images that are coming out of here, these massive craters, what has happened to buildings here. The IDF is not ready to put a number on civilian casualties. We've seen a few different numbers come out of this from different operations, but nothing has been able to be independently confirmed. But this is what the IDF is saying this morning about that operation in Jabalaya. Take a listen. Our forces continue to significantly expand their ground operations in the northern Gaza Strip. Overnight forces engage in significant battles, including a multi-story building in the Jabalia area. Terrorists fired at our forces in the area. Hamas used that structure, like many others, as a sanctuary. In this case, talking about the deliberate use of a civilian structure near a school, a medical center, and government offices. The operation expanding and the ground operation pressing forward deeper into the Gaza Strip. They say over 11,000 targets have been hit so far by the IDF, and this is not expected to relent anytime soon. And then you have the Rafa crossing. As you were mentioning there, Marky, we are going to see a few people cross through into Egypt today, some foreign passport holders, as well as those who are sick or injured. We just got word a couple minutes ago that some of those ambulances that went through are starting to head back into Egypt now with some of the sick and wounded. We'll keep you updated there. Adrian. Robert, thank you very much for that update. We appreciate it. Uh thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.